Before the day had even started inside a New York courthouse, former U.S. President Donald Trump gave away the ending. We'll be resting pretty quickly, resting me, resting the case. I, I won't be resting. Despite claiming that he would testify in his own defense, Trump opted to not speak under oath, making the final defense witness a former legal advisor for Michael Cohen, who tried to undercut Cohen's testimony by underscoring his disdain for Trump, highlighting how so much of this trial hinged on Michael Cohen's credibility. He's the only person and the only evidence the prosecutors have that really tie former President Trump to the falsification of the business records, but he also comes with an enormous amount of baggage. 413 days after Trump's indictment, the defense's case lasted two days with two witnesses. The prosecution called 20 in 19 days, using documents to back up its case. They need jurors to believe that he's telling the truth on the critical issues. The mundaneness of the trial at times resulted in Trump to be caught with his eyes closed, without losing sight of his message. They have no case. There's no crime. Trump was indicted for using hush money as part of an illegal conspiracy to influence the 2016 election. The 34 charges relate to falsifying business records to hide reimbursements for that transaction. Are the business records false? I think the prosecution has proven that. The question, though, is were there in furtherance of or to cover up another crime? That, of course, would elevate those misdemeanors to a felony. I'm not quite sure the prosecution has gotten there. Ahead of closing arguments, both parties and the judge dealt with crucial jury instructions to hammer out precise phrasing that will shape deliberations, setting the stage for jurors to take the controls and hold Trump's fate in their hands. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.